Perhaps you are thinking what to do in order to create incredible exterior visualizations? Well, you are in a good place. I'm Aga from Arkviz Artists and today I love to highlight a few points that can help you straight away. Without any further ado, let me share with you my five tips. Every space is different. If you want to show emotions in your image, you need to know the place. Sometimes it's the spot from your city, which you know pretty well, but sometimes you can get the project from another side of globe and it's worth to do some research then. In the internet age, it's not a big deal to spend a few minutes on searching the websites. Check Google Maps, take a look at Street View, explore area a bit. If needed, ask your client for some photographs. Discover the context, recognize the characteristics of the space. Composition, composition, composition. Follow the rules of composition in any kind of the image. For achieving more interesting shots, you can frame your composition. You can use, for example, surrounded buildings, trees, plants, flowers, street furniture, and so on. Thanks to this, you will give a context to your image and lead your viewer's eyes to focal point. It will make your image look way more interesting and intrigues your viewer. If you haven't watched the videos about composition or on how to frame your image as professional, the links will be in the corner. As in any kinds of image, lighting plays a key role in our perception of the specific space. Use the lighting to show atmosphere of this place. Many properties truly come to life during sunset on sunrise. Dramatic sky builds tension and creates mystery atmosphere. Sometimes the best results will be achieved when we do a cold dusk image with warm, bright interior lights. This will create a great contrast between exterior and interior. And maybe this is what we want to show. Or sometimes the shadows which appear on the facade make the image look outstanding. It all depends on the result you are going to achieve. But always keep in mind the atmosphere you're going for. Ah, one bonus tip. If I don't have a time of day precise straight away, I sometimes use a file with animated sun every hour and I render low res previews so I can quickly decide which scenario I want to go for. It can be really helpful from time to time. If you try to capture the object which is taller than your camera position and camera target is up, suddenly the lines that appear to be parallel in your opinion seem to converge towards the top of the frame and make the image look weird. The wider your angle, the more of this effect you'll notice. It is called a vertical perspective distortion and it happens every time your camera is not pointing at the horizon. Sometimes you may want this effect, for example to show the height. You may not want these perfect vertical lines. Unless it's your goal, it's better to have these vertical lines parallel to each other. In order to achieve these perfect vertical lines in the software, use vertical tilt option in your camera settings. You can use automatic option or set it manually. In most of the cases, automatics works great. Plants are one of the things that can help your image or can make it super unrealistic. That's why it's super important to spend some time on them, whatever it's a grass, shrub, trees, flowers, and so on. Use high quality models of plants, especially for the foreground. It makes a huge difference. 
I would also advise you to always have the reference image for the plants that are new for you. It's just easier to make it right. Plus, never forget about the transfluency effect that appears in most of the cases, and it really makes a difference. Also, remember that the same type of plants are different from each other. So, keep in mind to not only change the sizes of the same plant, but also make different tints and variations of the material. The more variations you will get, the more realistic the image will become. If you haven't watched the video on how to create the plant in GrayFX, uh, you may find it useful here. The link will be in the corner. So, what can I say more? Every time you work on exterior image, keep these tips in mind. I hope you find it useful and use it in your next exterior project. Thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe, and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video.